A screening mammogram is an X-ray study of the breast that a woman obtains. Um, that study is just like any other X-ray image that we take of the body. The X-ray image of the breast, the radiation dose that a woman would get when we obtain four views, is about 0.7 to 1 millisievert. And I'm given this information simply because I want women to understand about the radiation dose exposure that they will have when they have their mammogram done. Women become very concerned that they're getting a high dose of radiation. And I want them to put this into perspective with the amount of cosmic radiation that we are all exposed to, which is about 3 millisievert. And a millisievert is the amount of radiation dose that is used as a measurement, um, as a tool to measure. Now, a woman should have her screening mammogram performed by age 40. That's what's given to us by the American Cancer Society. A woman, however, can have a mammogram obtained before that. If, for instance, she has a family history for breast cancer, she has to start about five or ten years prior to that first degree relative um, who was diagnosed. Okay? So, for example, her mom had breast cancer at 40. She starts her mammogram at age 30. Her mom had her breast cancer at 35. She actually can start at 25. 25 is the age given to us by the Food and Drug Administration for the minimum age to obtain a mammogram in a woman. Therefore, you ask yourself, okay, what is the age now that she should obtain a mammogram if her mom was diagnosed at 30? Well, she's not going to get a mammogram. We are going to start off with screening breast ultrasounds and breast MRI. Therefore, before a woman comes in to obtain her mammogram, we recommend that she research a little bit about her family history to know what her risk potentials are so we can decide for her whether she should just have the mammogram alone, if appropriate, or if we should also put her in contact with a breast surgeon.